Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to BNK Bees. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to chat at you a little bit about being honey bound, or at least trying to prevent the uh, the situation of being honey bound. And what honey bound is is where it's coming in so the nectar's coming in so thoroughly and so readily that they backfill the brood area with nectar or honey and that limits the ability of the queen to lay eggs and that can cause a, a swarming situation and it, it can get very bad and it's sometimes difficult to deal with if all you have is new foundation um, rather than you know empty drawn comb if you have empty drawn comb the solution is as simple as pulling the honey out of the brood area maybe pulling it up into another box and then replacing that brood area uh, with the empty drawn comb Without the empty drawn comb, um, the, the plan is the same, um, it's just a little bit less effective, so you'll have to be aware of it. Uh, so in this particular colony, I've just pulled out those two honey frames, and what I'm going to do with those is put those above a queen excluder on another hive uh, in this yard, and I am going to checker some blank frames into the brood area but before i go about doing that um i'm going to check the, the situation you know it's been a, a few weeks or a couple weeks since i've been out here and the nectar is flowing like crazy so i came out here expecting to be honey bound to a certain extent and it's not so bad throughout the majority of this yard but this one had locked themselves in with a honey wall and ignored uh, the majority of the side of the box that's closest to me right now. So they're not completely honey bound. What you see right down there uh, in the yellowish cells are uh, eggs and very young larvae. So what I'm going to do here is bring this mostly honey but partially brood frame all the way to the edge to kind of try to implement a food on the edges strategy here or at least uh, convince them that that's the best mode of action. Okay, so they're definitely not completely honeybound. That's a beautiful frame. See all those light-colored young nurse bees? This colony's doing pretty well. All right, I love seeing stuff like that, and I'd be lying if I said that was the first one like that I've seen today because most of this yard is uh, solid brood frames like that, but we're just kind of coming into the time of the year when they're back filling some of the stuff. So you see some of those empty cells are shining at you probably and that's an indication of what I'm talking about. Okay so I'm gonna check her one here and then go with brood. Pretty good looking frame. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna go with two solid brood there. Check right there. Pull this here and I'm gonna find whoa, almost tripped on my smoker. I'm gonna find a place for these frames. In the single brood area, single brood box colonies, this is the majority of your summer work. Trying to check your frames in, make sure they're not swarming and remove nectar. Okay, so let's see how about right there. I think that's a new box. Freshly added, so this will give them some incentive to moving up and working it and filling it with honey.
Okay, so regardless of whether you're running single brood box colonies or uh, you know doubles or triples or whatever you're doing, make sure that the brood area is cleared out. If that queen does not have ample space to lay, you will uh, you will see swarm preparations, and at the very least, you won't see the buildup that you uh, had wanted and expected. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remove it, check her in, new frames, um, if they are blank, you may want to pay a little bit more attention to it than you were if, than you would if those frames were empty and drawn, because empty and drawn frames will be just considered available brood space by the bees. Whereas a brand new frame with bare foundation or blank or you know whatever you want to call it um, may not immediately be considered as uh, as available brood space. It's just kind of a piece of plastic in this case. So you want to pay attention and make sure that you know they're not drawn cells, regardless of, or, or, or despite what you had just done. Um, but usually when the nectar's flowing, they'll start drawing that comb out quick enough and, and she'll come right in behind them and lay it up and so it's usually okay uh, but like I said pay a little bit closer attention if the frames that you are checkering in are blank uh, so get out there and have some fun with your bees I appreciate the heck out of you watching this video see ya